about hatred. It's about race. It's a dirty game. The pain and suffering of women marrying into this institution, this feeding frenzy. I realized they're never going to protect you. I was terrified. I didn't want history to repeat itself. No one knows the full truth. Well, joining us is our ROG reporter Cameron Walker, who, of course, has just returned from Boston with the Prince and Princess of Wales, who was said to be um, weary, I think it was the, the term that was used about both Buckingham Palace and... Kensington Palace with, with all this. Yeah, so a source told the Mail on Sunday that the King and the Queen consorts are weary about the amount of mm. um, grievances that Harry and Meghan intend to air in public rather than being worried. I think from Kensington Palace's perspective, they very much are going to be continuing with their engagements, particularly in Boston uh, with Earthshot. And I don't think perhaps we're going to see them uh, make too much of a deal out of this. However, if there are specific allegations which target members of the working royal family. It wouldn't surprise me if we do see some kind of statement from either, either Buckingham Palace or Kensington Palace. The reason for that is, after the Oprah interview of 2021, where Meghan accused an unnamed member of the royal family um, of questioning what colour Archie's skin would be when he was born, and Harry accused his father of financially cutting him off, both of which were denied. But the Queen said recollections may vary. She set a precedent that they can answer back if necessary. Yeah, and, and therefore this phrase that's now being used of pushback, that, that William may actually challenge those claims if he believes they are not based fairly on, on the actual truth. That's what reports are suggesting. Of course, the late Queen had this um, ethos all her life that it, it was never complain, never, never explain. Yeah, yeah. I think the era of that is gone with the modern royals. At the moment, Buckingham Palace and Kensington Palace are staying silent, but of course that could change because there are clearly some uh, allegations in just by seeing this minute long yeah. trailer war say, hatred war. race dirty game feeding frenzy mm. i mean it's uh, it's not collegiate is it should we say i think one line it sticks out is no one knows the full truth we know the full truth it is important to point out this is the full truth from harry and meghan's perspective it's clearly there are two sides to every story but clearly it's going to talk about the comparisons between the alleged hounding of the press of Princess Diana, his mother, who, mm. who died in 1997 in a car crash being chased by paparazzi, and uh, the alleged treatment of the press by Meghan Markle as well. So clearly I think Harry will focus particularly on that point. And, and he's carried that on his shoulders, and clearly perhaps it is still unresolved. However, this is a commercial exercise. They have signed a huge deal for this documentary and, of course, for the book. If they are saying the same things that they've said again and just keep going round with this um, wheel of complaint, um, mm -hmm. the, the public are going to tire of it. They're not going to watch, they're not going to buy the book. Well, exactly, that is a possibility. Prince Harry said in the Oprah interview, his, I was concerned history was going to repeat itself. And in this trailer, he also said, I was concerned the history was going to repeat itself. My point being that there's only so many times you can yeah. make the same arguments yeah. or complain or make the same complaints in public. What's new to say? I think that's and, the and question. And House has said this as well, uh, uh, to, to a degree. Uh, so Buckingham Palace, Buckingham yes, Palace, sorry, yeah, yes, yeah. They, they have said, well, according to sources from the Mail on Sunday, mm -hmm. that they are growing weary of their complaints because it's the same complaints over and yeah. over again. So unless there's anything that's completely new, I, it wouldn't surprise me if the British public don't take much sympathy with the couple. Now, this airs on Thursday on Netflix, so, so is, it, is it the new crown that we, we can binge watch it all in one go and... and all or not, as the case may be. It's the real-life crown drama, as some people are, are, are dubbing it, <laughs> yes. Um, six episodes. The first three are airing on Thursday. The final three are going to be airing a week on Thursday, so the 15th of December, which happens to coincide with the Princess of Wales' carol concert at Westminster Abbey. So that ah. is now twice... Harry and Meghan's Netflix documentary has overshadowed the work of the Prince. Because the Princess first trailer was released when they were doing their